This was a bad idea. Whose idea was this? No, what's with the baguettes? They're all stale. Don't you have any fresh baguettes? Hey, I'm talking to you. Wow. Be very quiet. We're hunting billy goats. <laughs> Welcome back to Unturn here in France. Check it out. We have billy goats. Two billy goats right here. And a cow. And uh, there's some sheep. And there's turkeys. And there's chickens. And there's all kinds of livestock here. It's really, really cool. Let's, uh, hi buddy, uh, I'm not a hunter with a crossbow, I might look like one, but I only play one on TV, and, oh, get wrecked, okay, now, come on over here, hurry up, hurry up, <laughs> we got him, <laughs> what did he drop, he dropped intestines, no, I want goat milk, I want to try out the goat milk, oh, look at all the goats, this is insane, all right, well, let's shoot another one, this crossbow does some serious damage, like, one shot, oh, there's the goat milk, Wow, it is goat milk. Ooh, it looks so delicious. I'm not really fond of goat milk, but you know what? We're dying of dehydration, so down the hatch. Oh, wow, that is really, really hydrating, too. Good stuff. Let's go get this guy over here. So many farm animals here. It's great. Oh, he's coming back for more. Oh, he's coming right at us. He's charging us. Get him. <sighs> Came right at us. You see that? Got to take him down. That was self-defense right there. All self-defense. Raw goat meat. So they drop meat, they drop guts, and they drop... Uh, milk. Fantastic. How about you, Sheepy? What you got? Do the carcasses around here not frighten you at all? <laughs> Man, these French uh, domesticated farmy animals are kind of dumb, aren't they? All right, well, we got some mutton now, too. Man, look at this. We are stocking up on the food. I got two, um, two big turkeys in my pocket, too. And we got cows as well. Cows are nothing new, though. We've seen cows a gazillion times. I love the new farm animals and more farming mod. They're really pretty cool. And this crossbow, holy smokes, does it do damage. I'd like some milk, though, for the road. Uh, oh, leather's good. We are getting a variety. Oh, where'd you come from? He was hiding in the bush. <laughs> Should have stayed there. I never would have seen you. Yeah, we're getting a variety of goodies from these guys. La raise that head up. Look me in the eye. Right between the eyes. And there's that milk. That's what we're looking for. Uh, hold up. What is that? Oh, nothing. All right, well, let's go get those berries. Those berries are fantastic. Those are uh, those are the mauve berries, and if you eat mauve berries, they actually reduce your toxicity level quite a bit. And I already have a couple. Actually, before we do this, let's um, let's bump up our agriculture skill at least once, and yeah, maybe one more time. Sure, and we should get uh, more. Two, nice. Yeah, so if you uh, if you refine these, right? Ooh, don't do that. Yeah, if we take two of the berries into refined berry, right? Boom, down the hatch. Got another one here too. Look at that. It hydrates, it feeds, and it also um, and it reduces toxicity. It's so lovely. Um, we're gonna actually plant some of these. We need a planter. For the uh, for Road Warrior, Les Guterra da Rouge, or whatever it's called. We'll just call him Pepe Le Pew, right? Yeah, Pepe. Anyway, okay, let's get back to Pepe, and let's uh, let's get reorganized. I just wanted to show you guys the new farm animals with more farming mod. I know sheep have been around a while and chickens, but I don't remember goats before. That's relatively new. You know, I really wish I hadn't named that goat Billy. Because now I gotta eat them and it just feels wrong. But uh, let me just say a few words and then we'll make it all right. Billy, you were the bestest goat in France. Pretty sure. At least that's what the word on the street was. But uh, your sacrifice will fill my belly. And I appreciate it. I'm higher in the food chain anyway, so too bad. Um, wait, do you have anything you want to say about Billy? Any words? Last words? No? Okay. Down the hatch. Ah, This is why you shouldn't name your farm animals. Right? Oh, because you gotta you gotta eat them once in a while to survive. Anywho, let's go ahead and make a we want to make a planter, and I think I need some planks for that. And I do have some fertilizer, and wham! I was hoping to find one, but couldn't find one here. So we're just gonna make one. And oh gosh, how come I can't get it on there? This is harder than it looks. <laughs> There we go. It's not centered, but it's going to have to do for now. Let's go ahead and uh, do some growing. And the big wheat right there. And I think that's about it. 
All right, that's gonna have to do for now. Let's go ahead and eat this mauve berry and we'll get our toxicity back up. Nice, nice, perfect. And now I think we're ready to go. Now we're finally ready to rock and roll. <laughs> and it looks like it's probably about noon. So we got half the day left. We got a lot to do. First things first, I want to drive over here to Point Pont du Gard and check that out. It sounds like very historical. And then we're going to go to the lighthouse, which I think is right here. That's actually a quest that we have to find a radio. And we'll get 10 reputation for that from Claire back at the safe zone. And then we can go over here to Orly, Inter yeah, Orly International and cull it. We've got to kill 40 zombies over there. So that will be today's mission. And we'll see if we can uh, if we can accomplish this. Now, hold on a sec. Where is this place? Oh, got to go the other way. All right, let's turn it around. Can't see in all this grass. Whoa, watch out. Hey. <laughs> all right, there it is. Pod de Guard. It's a... Uh, it's an aqueduct. It's like an old Roman Empire aqueduct, isn't it? Can we get across the aqueduct? We're gonna find out if we can get down there somehow. Is there a road to the aqueduct, I wonder? Well, we can just go down here to the beach. A nice river here. I see a beach. Oh yeah, look at that. Some kind of um, a resort or something, maybe? Ooh. Yeah, that looks real nice. Is that a real boat? That's a real fake boat. Well, let's go check that out real quick. We don't want to spend too much time here because I want to do these quests. But it's worth visiting since we are tourists here in France. And I wouldn't mind getting over there. I don't know if we're going to be able to cross this bridge with uh, Pepe. So I'm pretty sure that's what this thing is. is an aqueduct, right? If I remember from my days of history, yes, like a, uh, a Roman Empire aqueduct. And the Romans lived here. Let's see if we can get... Oh! Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We don't want to hit the ancient aqueduct <laughs> with, with Pepe. Oh, gosh. Well, first of all, we don't want Pepe to blow up. And we don't want to ruin this uh, historical site. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's... Uh... Alright, easy does it. Easy does it. Can we actually get across? Oh my god. No! Oh no! Come on, Peppy, you can make it! I think we can make it. We can just fix him up when we get to the other side. We just don't want to blow up before we get there. Oh my gosh! He's starting to smoke! Peppy, hold on, buddy! Oh, wait a minute. Oh no! It's a dead end. I guess we should have checked that first. All right, put it in reverse. Emergency. Emergency. We're backing out. I can't see anything behind me. <laughs> this was a bad idea. Whose idea was this? All right, easy does it. Go slow. If we hit something now, it's Coyton's for Peppy. All right, that's good. We made it. Okay, now. Kill that light. How do we get out of here? That was just a whole waste of gas and uh, and time and energy. We better fix this dude up. Let's use this uh, blowtorch instead. Because it's a spare and we're probably going to sell it. Let's put what gas we have left. Okay. And now, um, I guess we just go on foot. Do we even really need to go here? I don't think so. Let's not. Let's go. Oh, is that the... um? What is that? Oh, I think that's the that's the uh, that's the lighthouse right there. Oh, okay. Let's go there instead. I mean, the aqueduct was cool and everything, but very dangerous. So let's go. Let's go to the lighthouse and get this um, this radio for Claire. She's gonna be so happy. We really need to get our reputation up at the safe house so we can buy more things, maybe guns and ammo, and uh, and so forth. Yeah, that's a lighthouse. All right. Let's see if we can find a road. Yep, we got a road here. I think we're better off on the road. <laughs> well, that was a nice adventure, and it was great to see that historical... It's a monument now, really. I'm not even sure if people still walk across it. They probably shouldn't. But next time we get to a bridge, we should look at the other side before we try crossing. 
and make sure it actually does go all the way. Uh, oh, we have zombies here. Okay, let's just park right here then and go in on foot. Anything inside this old Jeep? Nothing. Well, that sure is a lighthouse. Oh, we got a flamer here. I'm gonna have to shoot him. And we need to find the radio. Let's make that particular quest the active quest. Lost signal, right? Yes, track it. It's right here. All right, beautiful. Oh, what am I doing? Get up. <laughs> I had my fingers on the wrong keys. Hi, buddy. Whoa, ah, oh, flanky. So somebody in the comments mentioned that the zombies look a little faster here in France. I, I think you might be right. What are they on? Something in the baguettes. Give me a look. I want a baguette. I want to see what's in there. All right. Well, we've got rope. That's not a baguette. Again, we have a translation issue here. I can ask all I want, but it doesn't really matter unless we get an English-speaking zombie. Baguette? No, that's a civilian vest, but I'll take it. That's real nice. Look at that. All that extra space and a little protection to boot. Take the hammer for the metals. Uh, baguette? Of course, I don't think we're going to get a baguette from any old random French zombie. We're going to have to find the French chefs. And most likely, we'll have a better chance of getting a baguette from a baker. Oh, oh, oh. He raised his arms. Now we're going to shoot this fella. Um, should we even bother? We, you know, we don't even need to shoot him. We don't even need to. No more bloodshed. Let's just go climb this thing and see what we can find. Let's tear up those jeans and salvage the hammers. All right. Um, my guess is it's all the way at the top, right? That's how this stuff kind of works. Unfortunately, we do not have a an umbrella. I wish I had an umbrella. Because <laughs> getting down these ladders always freaks me out. Ooh, paintball gun here. I always seem to fall. What's up with the hammers? Somebody building stuff around here? Maybe they were uh, renovating the lighthouse. That's very possible. So what is across the bay here? Marseille. I believe that is a uh, dead zone. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm thinking. All that red stuff around that city is. All right, we're going up. Hopefully there's nobody up here, but if there is, we will just shoot him. Let's get, uh, oh, let's break this stuff down first. We're gonna go up with the handgun ready in case we get assaulted up here. Friendly Taurus coming up. I think if we announce ourselves first, we don't surprise anybody. And the French zombies won't mind so much. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, where'd he go? He jumped. <laughs> where the heck did he go? Holy cow. There's the radio. Pocket radio right here. Let me grab it before I fall. Oh, look at that. That's really cool. Okay, we got Claire's pocket radio. But I'm really curious about what happened to that other zombie up here. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna go down and deal with it. It's probably down there waiting for us to come down. Oh, yeah, he is. Look at him. He's a fast one. Yeah, all right, we're gonna have to shoot that guy. Let me stand up and see if I can shoot him from here. Can I get him? Got him that time. I think he's dead. Let's get the binoculars out and check. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Right on that couch. Looks comfortable. Comfortable place to get shot. And how about the flamer? Flamer didn't hear nothing. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> All right, we're going down, and I think I'm just going to... Let's try to get back to 100%, because I have a feeling we're going to fall here. I don't like climbing ladders. Let's um, let's skill up. I'm going to bump up my strength. So if we fall, we take less damage. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's a long way down. Just don't look down. Look up. Up is better. There we go. It's all good. We really gotta find an umbrella. Uh, I did it again. I named this lettuce before I planted him. Just when he was a little seed, I gave him a name, and now look at him, look at him big and strong, and all plump and juicy, and now I gotta eat the poor guy. And I feel so bad, so, uh... One last word for, for Larry the Lettuce. You look delicious! Get in my belly! <laughs> mm. I was right, Larry was delicious. Anyway, so that's why farmers don't want to name their, uh, their vegetation either, I guess, right? Yeah, you don't want to get attached to your animals or your vegetation. All right, let's go. Let's get to Orly International. Oh, wait, stop sign. Er okay, look both ways. 
and check the map. We are taking a right, then a another right at the main highway, and just follow it all the way to Orly International. Easy peasy. All right. Now, since uh, we have this ambulance, we can just flick that on, and then everybody will get out of our way. We can speed too. <laughs> All right, awesome. All right, so I'll meet you guys at Orly International. We're gonna take this right, right here, right? Oh, look, another Eiffel Tower. Man, those things are everywhere. And another one. Wow. Oh, hold up. I think I see a tour bus. Yep. There's our tour bus! We found him! Remember, these guys took off on us! We gotcha! <laughs> Come on out! Where's that bus driver? I got a few words for you, pal. He's gone. Alright, well, it looks like everybody left. They got what they deserve for leaving us behind. That first day we got here in, uh, in France, right? <laughs> looks like maybe the zombies got him. Good! Now, wait a minute. What is this? I don't want to get sidetracked. I really just want to get to Orly International and call it and maybe get some gas there. My, my guess is there's going to be gas here. We really need gas. Although, oh, look, a police department down in Toulouse. We could probably use the ammunition, don't you think? Maybe we should go to Toulouse. T Toulouse. I don't know how to say that. Let's go to that city. That begins with a T before we go to Orly International. Maybe there's a gas station in this little town. I'll tell you what, turning this thing around, it's like a 50 point turn. Sheesh. You got a big wide load here, Pepe Le Pew. We're gonna have to put you on a diet. Let's stick to the roads. I don't want Pepe to get hurt or stuck. Go right by this Eiffel Tower again. And here we are. The fine tourist trap of Toulouse. I wonder. Oh, hi. Ooh, he's coming to greet us. Don't you touch Peppy. And I don't really want to shoot you. It's a waste of ammo. So, oh, he looks so sad. He can't get over that. All right, let's go get him. Sneak up on him. Oh, he's a grease monkey. Are you from Greece? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought that would kill him. All right, well, that didn't kill him. So let's bump up our uh, overkill. I like to kill with one shot. It's expensive though. Uh, should we? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? It's expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. I want to save my ammo for culling uh, Orly International. Oh, look at this—a garage right here. That was convenient. We got two gas pumps full of gas, hopefully. And maybe there's AI. Yeah. Uh, a fast guy here. Hi. Maybe there's a gas cannon here. Love to get my hands on a gas can. Not seeing one on the outside. Let's go check the garage. -y. Oh, look at that. A guy had a Pepsi. That's good. Yes. We need a Pepsi. All the drink we can get. All right. Let's go in that garage. Bam. Oh, pooped a tire. <laughs> now that is talent. It's one talented garage guy. All right, let's go see if we can find a gas can. It doesn't look like it. Oh, dang it. I mean, we still have our pine can, but... <gasps> it's a baguette! Two baguettes right here on the shelf. Please be edible. No! No! What's with the baguettes? They're all stale. Don't you have any fresh baguettes? Hey, I'm talking to you. Wow! Oh! Wow! I'm gonna get a fresh baguette if it's the last thing I do. You just watch me. I think we're gonna back out of town. It's starting to get late. It's gonna be dark soon. I'm gonna set up camp right over here by this gas station. I don't wanna get too close, but this looks pretty good. This is what we do to stale baguettes. We slice them and dice them and then leave them right there on the ground. Ha! All right, now let's go to the police station. <laughs> And get some ammunition. Where was that police station? Oh, it's way over there. It's on the other side. <gasps> bicycle. I see a bicycle. Let's take the bicycle. Is the bicycle silent? I don't think so. But we're taking it anyway. Ooh, it's a nice one too. In good shape. I see a spitter. That could be a problem. And a flamer. But we're just going to go to the police department and grab some ammunition. And then we'll be on our merry way. 
don't think anybody can hear us. Just don't <sighs> ring the bell. I said don't ring the bell. <clears throat> oh, why'd you do that? It's all right. We can outrun him. <clears throat> if I hold down shift, we can sprint <laughs> on the bike. <laughs> There's the fire station. And the police station is right next to it. Oh, oh gosh. This guy saw us coming. Hello, sir. No fire here. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's a nice axe. Whoa. Holy smokes, this chef chased us all the way over here. Would you happen to have a fresh baguette? Please. No baguette at all. Not fresh, not stale, nothing. All right, where is that police station? Oh, it's right there. This is nice. Fire, fire truck. But I don't really want it. Well, there's a police officer out here. Let's go take him down. Hello, officer. Could use some bullets. That's a baton, dude. We really need a translator. How about this fella? Hi. Let's see what he's got. I know it's getting dark. Whoa! I know it's getting dark, but I just want to get in here and get some ammo. And then in the next episode, we'll call uh, Orly International Airport. Hello! Whoa. Wow, still can't kill these guys with one huh? Uh, oh, that's a lovely police cap. Oh, I feel so French. <laughs> Look at us now. Oh my gosh. Huh? The full moon. I forgot. I forgot every night in France is a full moon. That is insane. I mean, cool, but insane. Another police cap. I don't think we need the radio, do we? Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab it anyway. Use it for role play. Oh my gosh. What was that sound? Oh, who that? Oh boy. There's a red eye. There's a feral zombie. Ooh. Easy to shoot them right between. Shoot them? Easy to stab them right between the eyes, though, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, we got our ammo. Let's go ahead and reload this mag, and that mag, and we have a little bit extra. It sounds like maybe a mini boss is in here. I don't know if it's worth it. Does it? Or is it just my imagination? What is that? 12k shells, I'll take them. Yeah, this is really frightening. Especially since they are feral right now. We really shouldn't be here. <laughs> but I can't pass this opportunity up. Oh, it's a Cobra mag. Nice. Let's skill up our stealth. I think that's probably a good idea right about now. Oh, man. That sounds really, really close. It sounded like a big, big, big guy. Oh, there's a garage here. There's a battery, but no gas can. Dang it. Striking out with the gas cans, unfortunately. Are we going up to the second floor? Easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. Okay, nothing. Handcuffs. Dang it, so many handcuffs. I don't need the handcuffs. Whoa! Oh gosh! Oh, 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 oh. Man, you can't sneak up on these dudes. Oh, these are prisoners. Oh, we just did the French police a big favor. It looks like a breakout. Doors are wide open. They're just local criminals. They're not. Uh, they're not hardened criminals. Yeah, this is just a little local jail. So let's. I am not salvaging those. If we salvage them, it's gonna make a bunch of noise. All right, put that away, please. I don't like that light. It's scaring me. We gotta get out of here. What's that? Viper! The Viper actually has a Viper mag, right? And that Viper mag can be used in the Rattler. So that is an, a fantastic find. Prisoner bottom's not really very good. Okay, we're done here. We didn't get as much ammo as I was hoping for. But at least we got one, one small box of a few. Better than nothing. And now I think we're going to get on our bike and get the heck out of Dodge. We're done here. Where's my bike? There it is. I'm going to ride the bike back to Pepe Le Pew and call it a night. I really wish we had a headlamp. Oh, look at the light, the eyes glowing in the dark up there. Can we ride with our flashlight out? No. Oh no, I can't see anything. This is super dangerous and super dumb. There's a spitter right there. It's okay, just don't ring the bell like last time and we should be just fine. 
Oh no! Ah, step on it! Step on the gas! We sneak around the back. I hope we don't get stuck here. Oh, I thought that was a flamer. It's our fire. Ah, safety. Okay. We're good. Park it and get ready. Were we followed? I think we're safe. Unless the dude's invisible and I can't see him. Ah, the stale baguette slices are still here, though. Even the birds don't want it. Okay, I think we're done here for now, folks. So we're going to call it quits, and we'll see you all in the next episode. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, get organized. All right, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.